This is Bill with Title Town Drones, and this video is about the CZI LP12 searchlight speaker combo and a problem that we're experiencing with this device no longer functioning. Apparently, when the last firmware update dropped for the M30T, that firmware we believe has corrupted the firmware on this device, causing it to stop working. So now it no longer connects to your remote controller, and you can't basically it doesn't do anything. And unfortunately, if your device is already affected, the only way to resolve the problem is to send it in for repair. So it's going to have to go back to CZI. Um, I would recommend contacting the dealer that you purchased it from. In my case, Title Town Drones, for anyone that purchased this device through me or my company, I'll support them and they can return it to me and then I will work with CZI to get these repaired you should contact the dealer that you purchased your device from to make those arrangements. Uh, I wanted to also explain the importance of if your device is still functioning and not already affected, then it's vital that you update the firmware as soon as possible so that you can avoid this problem. Apparently the latest update from CZI will prevent this from happening. So we're going to explain the firmware update process. So I'm going to put a link in the description here. You'll go to CZI's website, and then you go to the LP12. We're going to go to software download. And then on the very bottom here, we're going to see the, the latest firmware is version 03.03.00.2. So if you were able to download that and get that installed on the LP12, that should prevent you from having this problem in the future. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to do this quick on a Windows computer. So first we've connected the LP12 to the micro USB cable. We've got that attached to a USB port for our computer. I've gone to my Windows Explorer and it showed up as the E drive in my case. So I've clicked that open. It looks just like a thumb drive when you're in Windows Explorer. So that's the window here on the left. So there is firmware sitting on there right now. It also has two other folders. So you can go ahead and delete the existing firmware. If you right click and hit delete, uh, that will delete that existing firmware. And then over here on the right, I have another window open where I've downloaded the new updated version of the firmware. So after I've deleted the firmware here that's sitting on the device, I would take the new file and drag it over. So if it was working correctly, I would not see this error message. You would just see the file drag over. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and disconnect the LP12, plug it back onto your drone, power everything on, and give it about three minutes. You will hear an audible signal letting you know that the new firmware has completed. Unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate that for you right now because the LP12 that I have here is defective and actually has to go back for repair. So just recap, if your device is still functioning correctly, I would unplug it, stop using it immediately until you can get that firmware updated. Once you've updated to the latest firmware, it should be protected from this glitch. If it is already affected, unfortunately, it'll have to be sent in for repair. I hope you found this video useful. If you have additional questions, just post your comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I've been in contact with CZI Tech Support and I'm continually working to try to resolve some of these issues. So until next time, thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.